I have kind of five vital steps to wellness. You know, the number one is removing your nerve interference. And number two, kind of in the same vein is, is dealing with your metabolic syndrome, mm -hmm. is looking at how I can achieve a more ideal body weight. Sure. It doesn't mean how I can be a size two. Michigan Family Wellness, Episode 11. Here at Michigan Family Wellness, we believe chiropractic care and nutritional-based therapies are a foundational part of a healthy family lifestyle. No matter where you're at in the mitten, having a family is such an exciting time of life. So instead of feeling overwhelmed by stress, fatigue, and responsibilities with the kids, we invite you to become part of this empowering community to create happy, healthy families. By providing engaging interviews and practical applications, Dr. Wallner cultivates family health by equipping our listeners with the tools they need to elevate wellness in their own family. Dr. Wallner passionately serves the Michigan community at his chiropractic and nutrition-based practice, where he specializes in pregnancy, pediatrics, and family wellness care. And now, here's your host, Dr. Kyle Wallner. Good day, everyone. Dr. Kyle here. Welcome to another empowering episode of Michigan Family Wellness. I want to avail everyone to Dr. Stephanie Mage. Dr. Steph, she has got so much credentials. She is so equipped to help everyone in the Chicago area where she has her chiropractic, family-oriented, subluxation-based wellness practice that if I were to read everything about her biography here, we would be here all day long. She is that equipped. But I do want to highlight a few things. Dr. Mage speaks internationally on a variety of topics, ranging from success in private practice, to aging well, to pregnancy and pediatrics, she brings an energy, enthusiasm, and sense of humor to the stage and also to this podcast in a way that helps inspire others to reach for their dreams. In January of 2016, Dr. Steph launched her very own podcast, Women Seeking Wellness, so I encourage you to search for that on iTunes and Stitcher, and that focuses on the real story behind how to be well at any age. So yeah, guys, in the same way that the Michigan Family Wellness podcast jumped up to that number one spot in the iTunes New and Noteworthy section, Dr. Steph's podcast was also in that same category, that same hierarchy of that iTunes New and Noteworthy accolade. So congratulations to Dr. Steph there. So look for it on iTunes and Stitcher or go to Dr. Mage, that's D-R-M-A-J, dot com to listen. And real quick, I just want to highlight and avail everyone to the upcoming event that we're doing at Summit at the Park. It's the Leaky Brain event. So I encourage everyone, invite your friends, invite your family, especially if you have any kind of brain fog, chronic fatigue, that is going to be a really great, we had such an awesome turnout at the Leaky Gut event, and this is really part two of that. We're going to focus on the brain, and we're going to equip you with those practical applications. I have patients tell me they have a hard time helping their kids with their homework, or they have a hard time remembering you know, directions, or how to get someplace in the mall, or how to get to a you know, a certain place that they've gone to, you know, all the time, you know, all of these things are early signs of neurodegenerative decline. And the practical applications, the things that we can equip you with are so simple and so easy to profoundly impact your family wellness. And again, it's, it's not about the problem itself, guys. It's about spending more time with your kids, spending more time with your spouse or your partner, spending more time with your friends, the people you love, and contributing more to the world around you. That's what it's really about. That's what I'm passionate about. I tell my patients all the time, I provide restoration and resiliency. So again, please join us for that Leaky Brain event coming up this Saturday. It's going to be awesome. And again, if you haven't already, check out michiganfamilywellness.com. It's a great website. It showcases everything that we're doing here in the community, especially with the podcast, with the events that we're doing at Canton Summit on the Park. There's great videos there, video testimonials, an awesome resource of information. And like I said, if you haven't already, head over there, check that out. Have a great week, guys. And without any further delay here, this is Dr. Steph. Dr. Stephanie Mage, welcome to the podcast. Oh my gosh, Dr. Kyle, thank you so much for having me. You know, I just want to let you know, I feel like a rock star because having you on the show, you've been such an inspiration. You know, when I've started getting into podcasting, I would often look to what you were doing 
to see what how I could do things better. So yeah, like I said, this is just a real treat for me. I'm really excited to have you on the show today. Well, it's an honor. It's so funny because we both, I just launched my podcast in January. Uh-huh. So we're both on that same kind of learning curve, but it's really, I don't know if you're experiencing this. It's exhilarating. It is. To talk to people and to get to know people. And I don't know, I started my podcast, Women Seeking Wellness, because I felt like I wanted to have flies on the wall when I was talking to my other friends and people mm-hmm. needed to hear what we were saying. And so right. this is just a wonderful medium for that. Absolutely. Well, as you know, we just told our listeners a little bit about yourself as a professional, as a doc. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself as a person, what your family looks like, and maybe a little bit about why serving families is something that you're passionate about? Well, again, my name is Dr. Stephanie Mage. I'm I'm, I'm not from Michigan. Okay. Yeah. I just said it. I said it. I live in Chicago. But I'm married to somebody from Michigan. And, and nice. Yeah. And uh, and in fact, my niece, who just graduated uh, as an engineer, just got a job at Dearborn and Deer at Ford at Dearborn is now dating a, a boy that went to Michigan. OK. And uh, and so my family's very concerned because I'm from Ohio. Ah, OK. Now, very if you're concerned. from Ohio, yeah, that might be a problem with uh, Michigan Family Wellness listeners. But if you're in the Chicago area, exactly. that's not as bad. And I married up. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, golly, a part of my story, I mean, really for me, my journey in chiropractic started really, it wasn't family wellness. It wasn't this this push to, to promote wellness, it was, I got into a car accident Mm -hmm. and my mom was an attorney and she worked with a lot of chiropractors and workers comp. And she was like, you know, these, I always wanted to be a physician, a pediatrician, to be honest. And, but yet when I thought about being a medical doctor, it just, there's something about it. It just never fit. So when I got in this car accident, I thought she always would say, you should be a chiropractor. And I thought that's weird. Like, no one in my family is a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. My godfather's an orthopedic surgeon, you know, and I, no one had ever been to a chiropractor. So I was like, okay, well, I went to this really young guy and he just turned me on and I thought, what the heck? You know, I went in for whiplash, but my chiropractic miracle is it's not really boring, but you know, you hear like people say, I was blind and then I could see. Sure, yeah. I see it in my office where I'll have babies with colic that their parents found me on the internet. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they hand their two week old baby, neither one had ever been to a chiropractor. They never met me and they hand me their baby, like, help. Mm-hmm. And within boom, 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 you know, when we remove that interference in the nerve system, mm-hmm. the baby's cooing and, and the bundle of joy that you know, God meant the baby to be. So it wasn't that I just had gone in for whiplash and I had always had headaches, thought everybody had headaches. And all of a sudden my headaches went away. Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't know you could live like later in my practice. I've been practicing. I just celebrated 20 years in my practice. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And 50. I just turned 52. So yeah, so it's, that comes into play when we talk about, you know, why I started a podcast. But uh, so in my practice, when I would ask people, you know, well, do you ever get headaches, you know, in the history part? Mm -hmm. And people would say, no, I never get headaches. And I thought for myself, I thought, well, I'll be darned. Like people don't get headaches. Uh Even as a chiropractor, I was learning that. And so it was a powerful thing. I remember I was on a mission trip. I did some service trips to the Dominican Republic and Haiti back um, in the beginning of 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I met a man who came to, you know, we would just kind of make these, you know, makeshift clinics that would just pop up and people would come from villages. And he had this like pumice of like herbs wrapped on a string around his forehead. Uh And, you know, in the, through the translator, he said, I have had a headache for nine months. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And we, you know, we get him in and, and we, they kind of, the word got out. And so they would follow us around all week and get adjustments all week long. And, uh, by the end, his headaches had gone. 
I mean, that's mm-hmm. a miracle. Yeah, He's that's walking incredible. around debilitated. Yeah. So anyway, I digress. I don't know yeah. if that's digress, but um, no, that's great. Yeah, no, so that's I, definitely you know. I think obviously Michigan Family Wellness. You know, we really like to focus on a lot of practical applications, but I often feel like sometimes uh, you really can't stress enough the importance of removing that nerve interference and adjusting the spine uh, to facilitate, you know, experiencing the best life and contributing more uh, to the people around you, especially your loved ones, especially your family, you know, and as chiropractors, that is so fundamental uh, to what we do. I mean, yes, there's the nutrition, yes, there's the supplements, but, you know, even before that, you know, every patient I see is getting adjusted, you know, bar none. Everyone. So. And one of the reasons why I wrote my book, so I wrote my book, You Can Be Well. Mm -hmm. And if your listeners would like a copy of that electronically, they can go to my website, drmage.com, and they can, you know, it can be, you know, downloaded to their phones like things can be now. Mm -hmm. The reason I wrote the book is because I got sick of seeing all the wellness books that had all of everything, but nothing about chiropractic. And I don't care... I mean, I'm not saying don't eat right. I'm not saying yeah. re- not to remove your stress or don't right. exercise or get in an ideal body weight. Mm-hmm. But if you do all of that and your nerves are interfered with, you are not experiencing true wellness. Mm-hmm. I would always think with the headache thing, I don't, I hate to keep going back to that, but when yeah. once a light bulb went off in my head when that happened and I thought, okay, if I'm waiting in line and somebody in front of me is really crabby. Mm-hmm. Maybe they had a headache for nine months. Oh yeah, but they they've been taking you know their body weight and you know Tylenol and Advil and la la la, and you know how much are they ex- really truly experiencing their life? Mm-hmm. And and I'll tell you if it's headaches and kids. I mean, kids should if they ever say they have a headache, that is a red flag because to be able to to actually articulate that means it's pretty significant. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you know, my story as far as what happened to get me into, so that's how I got into chiropractic Mm -hmm. and in chiropractic, I met my then partner, now wife, Julie, and she is her family's from Union City and Union City is just outside of Battle Creek. And yeah, you know, I spend a lot of time in Michigan. I love, I love it. I have some very dear friends. One of my favorite parts, since we're talking about that is, uh, so, you know, I'm from Chicago, so that Saugatuck, uh, you know, New Buffalo kind of yeah. in there. Uh, it's just always, it's always been nice to get away and get there. Mm-hmm. Um, it just remind. I've always, when I, the first time I went, I thought, wow, this is like, it feels like the coast, like an I like the ocean. Yeah. But it's like Michigan. Yeah. So anyway, I had uh, started my practice, like a lot of us do, unlike you, who you know, you're really co- going after um, specifically what you want. For me, I just started my practice and and just opened my doors and hoped for the best. Right. And it, after a couple years of that, you know, and just kind of getting my feet wet, I thought, okay, what do I really want? Like, who do I really want to help? Mm-hmm. And coincidentally, at the same time, my nephew had gotten put on Ritalin. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, he was in Ohio. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, they didn't ask my opinion. Right. And, uh, and so it, I just like, I just lost it. Like, right. and I lost it in a way of like, how could this happen in my own family? Mm-hmm. You know, now there's, I'm not saying that there isn't in the, some of these r- really intense degrees a need for that. But what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. is that 95% between diet and chiropractic and some sure. movement stuff yeah. can be modified, you know? Mm-hmm. And I mean, you're never going to make one of these kids sit at a desk eight hours and no, ec- no uh, recess, you know? Right, right. So, so that was why I start. I said, I got to be an expert at this. I can't let this happen. Not mm-hmm. on my watch. Yeah. Not on my watch. So kind of diving into some pediatrics then, really looking Mm -hmm. at serving with kids and families and all that. And then at the same time, my my peers were all having babies. Mm -hmm. So they were coming to me and my patients were having babies. And so I just started to dabble in taking some pediatric courses. And then eventually I went and got a certification uh, 
from the uh, International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and so I, I got a certification in pediatrics. So so I just learned at a deeper level because mm -hmm. the, the it's the same spine, but it's way smaller. Sure. So, you know, you don't, you know, it's like checking a tomato to see if it's ripe. That's the amount of pressure. It's right. not like you would do to right. a, a, an adult. Yeah. And that's what led me into the family. Now, I mean, 20 years later, over half of my patients are under the age of one. And mm -hmm. probably of those, probably 75% are under the age of three months. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, that's, that's so fantastic to hear. I mean, uh, being well adjusted, you know, and getting that nervous system clear, uh, especially at that age, I mean, right after you're entering the world, like that is such a crucial time, uh, you know, to be checked, especially considering, you know, what a traumatic experience, you know, birth can be. It's supposed to be this really, you know, natural, beautiful thing, but that's not always the case. And uh, especially with the rate of C-sections out there, um, I just can't speak enough to, you know, what you're doing and how you're serving your community there in Chicago. Well, thank you. You know, for me, what happened uh, is that I started to see adults and I started to go, wow, they said they had this since they were in high school. Well, if I really want to make humans well, I got to get them when they're in high school. So I started seeing mm -hmm. high school kids. The high school kids would say, oh, I've had these things since I was as long as I can remember. So I started seeing younger kids and younger kids. And then I started seeing the babies. And then I realized, oh, my gosh, it's there's so much birth trauma. There's so much C-section. Mm -hmm. I got to see them when they're pregnant. Now, I love to see them before they get pregnant. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I see a lot. of I, I, I have a, a large pregnant population mm -hmm. prepare their you don't have to have problems to go to a chiropractor when you're pregnant. Yeah. A chiropractor prepares your body for delivery. Mm -hmm. So it prepares your pelvis. It removes the interference in your nerve system, which helps your pelvic floor. And the way I look at it is the way I explain it in my office every day is it's like the, the person that sets up a million dominoes. You right. know, you set them up and then you hit the one domino and it gets to the bridge and goes over the bridge and around the windmill and toast the toast and all that. Yeah. Well, that's what we do. We line, we get everything lined up. So when labor hits, mm -hmm. everything's right. You don't want to get to a certain part and go, you know? Yeah. And that's what, as a chiropractor, I really feel like if, if, if we have the ability to do that, and get the pelvis right. And there's this thing called the Webster technique, which I know Dr. Kyle does. Yes. And yes. the Webster technique gets the baby in a, a good position by just removing the interference. So the baby does what the baby knows how to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I tell women all the time, I mean, whether you're going in and, uh, you know, I, well, for me, I have a lot of people that choose natural deliveries. Sure. They choose mm -hmm. non-medicated, but irregardless of how you're choosing mm -hmm. anything you can do to prepare your body. It's not only going to be a better experience for you. Yeah. It's a better uh, and less traumatic experience for the baby and your healing time mm -hmm. is going to be rapidly increased. Cause Absolutely. guess what? Your nerves are in charge of healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Stephanie, I need to tell you uh, one of my theories, not really a theory, but, uh, the reason why I feel that women, specifically women, are going to save the world, yes. and I know, I know, and I know that you're going to be excited about this, and I, I appreciate how you addressed the chiropractic and the nerve interference uh, component of it, actually several times now on the podcast, which is amazing. I love that, uh, but I do want to just uh, for our listeners outline this real quick thing of how women are going to save the world. And so the reason why women are going to save the world is because, as you know, we have a rising astronomical occurrence of basically the metabolic syndrome. So type 2 diabetes, adult onset diabetes, cardiovascular disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver, all these things, right, mm, totally. which are completely preventable, okay? And so a lot of the latest research from California, this is from Dr. Robert Lustig. I don't know if you've heard of him before. Mm -hmm. However, he argues that, and he actually has research to suggest that, and you talked about, you know, 
working with women before they become pregnant. And so that's his main point, because the insulin levels of the baby are laid down by your mother. So that's a major deal when you're looking at, okay, well, why do we have all these obese babies? How can you tell a baby to eat less and exercise more like you would an adult? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't. So that's why, you know, people like Dr. Lustig, and I kind of agree with him here, if you can educate women, specifically young women of childbearing age, about their nervous system, which we talked about, and about how they live their life and, wh- and how they're eating and how they're moving and living, then you can significantly start to reverse the trends uh, that we've seen over the last 30, 40, 50, within our lifetimes, really, you know, yeah. these astronomical trends. So I don't know if you've heard that before, but that's Dr. Kyle's theory of how women are going to save the world. <laughs> well, what you're talking about now, this is a big term I'm going to throw out there, yeah. but what you're sounds like you're talking about is epigenetics. Exactly. Yeah. So what that means is so many people out there feel like they're a victim of their genes. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, my mom had it. Oh, my dad had it. Oh, mm-hmm. and it's we're not saying that genes don't have a, a part to play, but see, these genes have little switches on the outside of them and and that those little switches can be turned off and on. Yep. And so epigenetics, the, the, the healthier your lifestyle, like for me, if you smoke and you're a woman in my family, uh, you will get cancer very young. And mm-hmm. uh, my mom died young. I have an aunt that died young. My grandma died. Like they were smokers. They people in my family, like that's the way it's been. But if you choose a different lifestyle, I'm not saying that those genes aren't there, that that likelihood, but your lifestyle has actually turned them off. Right. And that's, I I think a lot of, of what is happening. And for me, one of the reasons I started my podcast was because I'm, I'm, you're talking in childbearing years. Mm -hmm. I'm talking post childbearing years Mm -hmm. where women are looking in the mirror and they're going, what happened here? Mm -hmm. And they've tried a couple of the things that they've tried and they, they're not working. And if you have that belly kind of fat, Mm -hmm. you know, they, they call it what waist to hip circumference, like the, the bigger, the fat Mm -hmm. in the belly, that's met, that's metabolic syndrome. That's a, a high likelihood of, all kinds of crazy diseases as they go. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So what I hear you saying is, I mean, there's hope, there's, there's options, there's alternatives, Absolutely. there's answers for people out there. Would you agree? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when people come in and you know this too, they come into the office cause they got a neck or back pain mm-hmm. a lot of times, or sometimes they bring their babies in right. and then they're like, I'm beat up. Mm-hmm. And then the baby gets better and then the parents stay and the baby just stays for wellness. Um, as they feel better, then they can start to go, okay, wait a minute. Now they wake up a little bit. Like mm-hmm. all of a sudden their body is working better and they, and then now it wants to be fed better. Right. Now it wants right. to move. Now it wants to sleep. Now it wants to meditate. Now, But when your nervous system is, it's like on a cloudy, rainy day you know, you know, the sunshine's there, Mm -hmm. but it's under behind the clouds. And so that's in chiropractic, you know, removing that interference is like getting the clouds to go away so you can feel the sun. Right on, right on. Mm -hmm. Woo! Well, Stephanie, yeah, yeah. Stephanie, a (laughs) major part, (laughs) a major part, Stephanie, of the podcast here, Michigan Family Wellness is those practical applications. Could you drop some some value on our listeners uh, towards the end here? What are some actual practical applications that you would want to equip people with in terms of elevating their family wellness? Well, I think that one of the biggest things that families face is the chemical load that is put into their children. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, like when I was talking about my nephew, you know, I don't know what, and just so you know, he, we had a discussion and, and we were able to get him off and find him uh, better strategies. But what I tell people is that, especially if you have boys, but girls as well, they have trouble processing the chemicals. So what does Mm -hmm. that mean? Well, artificial colorings, artificial flavorings, uh, 
pesticides, plastics, you know, anything. Like I, I interviewed this one woman, she's a whole food person. And she said, uh, eat food that's an ingredient that is food, not the ingredient. Like right. there's like the food that doesn't have an ingredient list in it because all that stuff, when you look at the box is a chemical load. So if you're right. having trouble with your kid's um, immune system, mm -hmm. how your kids process things, how your kids are, uh, you know, being able to concentrate and settle sleep, these things could just be chemical load and mm -hmm. try getting rid of caffeine, try getting rid of anything artificial, anything art, any coloring, flavoring, yeah. scents in your house, you know, uh, those kind of things and see if you notice a difference. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you touched on a great uh, point here because this is a major concern, especially for Michigan families. Not only has Michigan received a lot of national attention from an environmental standpoint uh, with what's going on in Flint with the water crisis, but even a, a little bit uh, closer to home here uh, where my listenership is located, the River Rouge uh, factories, steel factories, auto uh, production plants, the uh, pollution is so bad in uh, the River Rouge area that this was actually on the cover of Newsweek uh, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, highlighting the pollution in River Rouge and the uh, skyrocketing occurrence of asthma in uh, that part of Michigan. And as we both know, you know, yes, eliminating uh, the exposure can be huge in terms of your health, but also, I mean, with asthma, simple adjustments to the thoracic spine, chiropractic adjustments to the, you know, middle of the back there for our listeners can have profound and significant uh, benefits for people that, you know, have any kind of asthmatic condition. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really amazing how quickly people respond. Mm -hmm. That's not to say that we don't want to in some way try. So, there's things you can control and there's things you can't control. Yeah. And so, and so, um, I mean, as I'm just sitting here thinking about that, that's like a big, I live in a big city. Right. So I sometimes discount the amount of pollution that I'm ingesting and breathing and, be, right. you know, it's everywhere. I can't, you know, unless I move, I can't control that, but I mm -hmm. can control what I eat. I can control what I drink. Mm -hmm. I can filter my water. I can, um, you know, there are ways to, to cleanse and do actual detoxification protocols that will clear your body of some yes. chemicals. I mean, there's, there's yes. some proactive things that you can do. Again, it's, it's the decision of, are we the victim of it? Or do, what can we do in, in the face of a Flint? Mm -hmm. What can we do to be proactive about our health? Absolutely. And how, what actions can we take? And so these are some of the things that you can control. You can control what your, your family eats mm -hmm. and yeah. cheaply, like Aldi is now like mm -hmm. organic and oh, yeah. chem I mean, they've really stepped their game up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I had just saw a thing too. I mean, um, you mentioned Aldi. I was looking at a thing from Costco. They said there's not enough organic, like they're trying to get more and it's not mm -hmm. available. Like Costco is trying to, you know, fill its warehouses with this uh, quality food, and uh, they're running into a problem of mm. the demand is exceeding the supply. Wow. So, anyways. Wow, well, that's amazing. Yeah. Stephanie, do you have any other practical applications for us uh, before well, we kind of... golly. I have about three hundred thousand. I know you mentioned your. I know you mentioned the ebook that people can get sent to their yeah. phone. So, so I'm sure there's a ton of practical applications in there absolutely. that people can look and up. And that would really be my gift to people because yeah. it really. I wrote the book because, like I said, there wasn't any books out there talking about nerve interference, mm -hmm. and because a friend of mine was had a book, and I, I was like, he has one, I could do that, and he he was like, well, then do it. Yeah. Well, all right. So I did. And, you know, what has come of it is that I have kind of five vital steps to wellness. You know, the number one is removing your nerve interference. And number two, kind of in the same vein is, is dealing with your metabolic syndrome, mm -hmm. is looking at how I can achieve a more ideal body weight. Sure. It doesn't mean how I can be a size two. Right. But we, 
you know, I, I actually just uh, am in the next month releasing a podcast on losing 10% of your body weight and there the amount go. of uh, positive health effects just mm -hmm. from that. It doesn't matter how much you weigh, 10% off your, your frame, yeah. you're going to be healthier. But then number three, reducing stress and exercising and then detoxification, which I really am a, a big uh, fan of doing some kind of cleansing at some point. Right. And not like fasting, crazy juice mm -hmm. cleanses. Yeah. You know, uh, we're talking about with food and with very um, medically based food, you know, stuff that you do with a doctor. Absolutely. And so again, at drmage.com, drmaj.com, if you go there, there's an opportunity to get my ebook just put right on your phone. And Perfect. Yeah, I was just going to so ask cool. you about that. So that's drmage.com. Yeah, drmaj.com. And I'm in, I'm up by uh, Cubbyville. I'm in Wrigleyville. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was going to mention that for our listeners yeah. too. You know, if you're listening on the west side of Michigan and, you know, you, you resonate with what we're saying and you feel compelled, you know, to lose 10% of your body weight or to work with Dr. Mage, it very well may be reasonable or perhaps even easier to just go a little bit west towards Chicago and start working with uh, Dr. Mage here. And uh, that would be available for you as well. And everything that we've mentioned so far in terms of the resources and links, all of that will be in the show notes for this episode at michiganfamilywellness.com and right in the podcast app, uh, the show notes for uh, this episode. Dr. Stephanie, I wanted to ask you for any other resources. I, I think I was telling you in the pre-chat, The Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. Oh, that was yeah. amazing. I uh, listened to another podcast that you were on, actually. And uh, But do you have any others besides uh, that which our research, which our listeners should be uh, reading or listening or anything like that. Well, you know, as I, as I'm thinking about families and I'm thinking about how families eat, there's a, a an author, Kathleen D. Mateus is her name, mm -hmm. and I'll make sure that I get you this actual link and the actual name of the book. But it yeah. it talks about uh, how we should feed our families. So. I don't know. One of the one of the uh, stories around this is about how our kids don't get enough good fat and protein, and mm -hmm. and they eat way too many processed foods and carbohydrates, and so, which is sugars and breads and mm -hmm. Cheetos and you know all that kind of stuff. So this book was is really amazing about how you can use food really powerfully to feed your family. I mean, I remember I had one of my first children way back when that that was on the ADD, ADHD. Now they call it the kind of the, the spectrum, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, autism spectrum scale. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I was, I was, ha I had him in the office, I was adjusting him and, and kind of talking about food a little bit. And it just so happened that their electricity went out and all the meat in their freezer totally, like they had to eat it because it all was going to go bad. Oh my gosh. So they're having steak and eggs for breakfast. They're mm -hmm. having pork loins for lunch. They were amazed at the amount, how much calmer he was, how much just more centered. He slept better. He was more able to concentrate. He was just more in his body. It's like these kids need protein and mm -hmm. they need fat. Yeah. Fat does not make you fat. Mm-hmm. Carbohydrates make you fat. Sugar yeah. and breads and that kind of stuff makes mm -hmm. you fat. Processed foods make you fat. Yeah, and I'm sure you so, talk a lot about that, you know, on your on your own podcast, you know, uh, talking about women too. You know, I'm sure that there's this aversion to fat, and so that's mm -hmm. that's great that you mentioned that there. Absolutely, yeah. We talk, we break it down. Women seeking wellness. Women seeking <laughs> wellness. Yeah. So head over to Women Seeking Wellness yeah. to listen to Dr. Stephanie's podcast there too. Yeah, it's on iTunes and Stitcher, but also you can stream it off my website as well. Okay. Is there anywhere else that it's at? Because I thought I had saw something else, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, like another if you podcast it, site. It's gotten picked up on a lot of different feeds, which is kind of, I mean, I'm like you. I just did this <laughs> right. to give my patients more information. I just got. I, I just was like, gosh, I keep talking to people about vitamin D. Uh -huh. like how many times do I have? I don't have time to give them the 15-minute spiel. 
And then I'm like, right. well, what if I recorded it? What mm-hmm. if I did a podcast? So I did. And now I give them the spiel. I email them the spiel. There oh, you, you want? I'll, I'll email you that link. So that's how it started. This whole getting interviewed, being it's really been yeah. it's so fun. Mm-hmm. But this is information that people want. They're looking for this. Like they're yeah. looking for organic food. Mm-hmm. They're starving for this. Yeah. And I see it too. I mean, just speaking personally as just like a cultural uh, imperative, you know, something that I've been equipped with, you know, and yourself as well. We've been equipped with this knowledge and this uh, ability to use our hands and help, you know, heal people. Uh, You know, what else would we do besides, you know, everything we could to serve our communities, you know, in our respective ways. So. Stephanie, again, they, call it, they mm-hmm. call it a chiropractic lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. And we just can't. Ju- it's just not one thing. It's the whole shebang. Yeah. Anyway, I interrupted you. No, it's you fine. I just wanted to thank you again. Out. I just wanted to thank you again for coming on the podcast. I've really enjoyed speaking with you. I think you're a inspiration to uh, podcasters all over uh, the world and uh, certainly an inspiration to your patient community over there uh, in Chicago, Illinois. Well, thank you, Kyle. I am I'm excited to see where you go because yeah. if I was so if I was in my you know first five years of my practice and doing these kind of things, oh, I mean the sky's the limit. There, there's never been a better time to be a chiropractor, mm-hmm. and so people in in uh, the uh, Ann Arbor area and in that uh, area in Michigan are very lucky to have you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Again, thanks, Dr. Stephanie, for coming on the podcast. As I love to say here at Michigan Family Wellness, we can do far more together than we could ever do apart. Coming to you from beautiful Southeast Michigan, I'm your host, Dr. Kyle Walner, and this is Michigan Family Wellness. Now that you've been equipped with the latest in family wellness solutions, we want to encourage you to apply these strategies right away. But the thing is, there's still so much to learn. Connect with Dr. Walner's chiropractic and nutrition office by going to michiganfamilywellness.com and click the newsletter sign-up button to join the informative and supportive community of chiropractic wellness. You will also receive as a gift from Dr. Walner a copy of Michigan Family Wellness Solutions, an invaluable resource containing dynamic tools to elevate family health and vitality. Michigan Family Wellness wants to thank you for being part of today's podcast. Please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and give us a five-star rating and review. 